So, morning there everyone. Not really too much to see yet. It's still pretty dark. It's currently quarter past six in the morning. And yeah, that means one thing. We're going to hunt some bass. Down at a very well um, known bass mark of mine. You'd have seen me on previous videos. You better see where we are when that light comes on. Probably in the next 15, 20 minutes. So yeah, let's go down there. I'll give you a um, yeah, glimpse when the sun comes off the area. And a little bit of a view. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy the uh, ride today. Hopefully we can get a few fish for you. Give you a few tips and tactics. Uh, yeah, a bit of a guide to uh, bass fishing. Big or small. Let's get down there. Check that out guys. Just starting to come daylight. It's going to be a fantastic day. So it's still pretty dark guys. We're right down at the mark. So I'll give you a run through what we're going to be doing when we actually have a bit of light. I was going to start off with a Savage Gear V2, 15 gram lead head, yeah, the sand deal collar. So yeah, let's give that a whack out, let's see if there's any bass in here. Absolutely prime time, early in the morning for the bass. You won't beat this. Uh, dawn and dusk, yeah, I would say the best times to find the bass when they're in their, uh, yeah, most hunting um, their capacity. And when they hit a lure, I would say most. But yeah, let's put the uh, plan into action. All right, first cast, let's see if we get hit first off. Just got on low water. The tide's been coming off about 20 minutes. Only small tides. You see we've got a nice little bit of chop still in the water. But uh, yeah, four, six and seven. There we are, we're in the red, look at that. First cast, guys, and we're in. First cast. I'm so sorry if you can't see too, too much. What did I say? Dawn. Dawn of the bass. <laughs> and we're in. This is going wild, this. Only a schoolie, I think. Well, yeah, every time, come down here first thing in the morning, bang, we're in already. Only a small little bass. What? You ain't going to complain when it's, uh, yeah, first cast. Ooh. And there we are. First cast, first bass. What a lovely star. Just come off the hook. It's got to be careful with these hooks as well, because they're a little bit, um, yeah, under sharp. But yeah, does the job. So there we are guys, first cast produced this lovely little bass. Only probably about half a pound. But I'm not gonna complain for first cast. Come here, buddy. Oh, okay, buddy, we're going back. You're going back. Whoa. Find the, the small ones are really feisty. Well there we are. Yeah. What did I say? Early morning, and you find the bass a lovely um silvery colored bass Teddy's living on the sand because where we're fishing in front of us it's uh yeah two big gollies and it runs up the uh, channel with uh two sandy uh yeah gollies up the middle and the bass sitting there that's what you're looking for with bass fishing you're looking for structure cast wall structure running tides and you will find the bass as you just seen all right it's not about wasting your time this is nice and spiky they're full of spikes of bass everywhere but yeah let's get him back off he goes, let's get straight back out there. And uh, yeah, see, we can hook another one. All right, it's gonna be one of those manic mornings where there's bass everywhere. So I said we've had that uh, strong wind recently. Just work on that Savage Gear VT really slowly with the odd twitch. So you've got a lovely little bit of movement here this morning. Hope there's a few fish in here. Well, yeah, that's not a bad start to the morning. <laughs> I'll take that any day of the week. But it just shows you put the, uh, yeah, get up early and put a little bit of time and effort into you can find the fish. There's no doubts about that. I expect there to be more than one in here, that's for sure. As you feel that little bit of weed in the middle, you won't be able to see that yet. There's a big clump of uh, rocks in the middle there. The other is casting over the back of that. Come on. 
lovely part of the island down here all big cliff faces absolutely beautiful beautiful area La, 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 la. Not picking up too, too much seaweed either, which is uh, quite good. Yeah, this is going to be the money cast out for they come on. Always in that little corner there they sit. But yeah, as that tide comes up, I'd expect the fish to really, really come on the feed. But again, we've only got small tides, so... You can't expect too, too, too much. Yeah, it's just nice to be out fishing anyway. Yeah, fish number two, guys. Only another schoolie. And a couple of casts of absolute zilch. Oh, he's running half of those heads. Ah. ah, I love bass fishing. Oh, he's holding deep. <laughs> For only a little basil. Let's lift him up. There we go. Two down. Only small, but at the moment, guys, there are so many small bass around. Uh, everyone's saying the same. To try and find a bigger fish at the moment. But any bass is a uh, yeah, good fun to catch. Let's get a show of him. Get him back. So there we are guys, bass number two, taking that Savage Gear V2, should just pop out, oh, giving me a bath, I don't want to get a bath, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'd say, no size to him really, come on buddy, there we are, oh he's taking it reasonably uh, well, there we are, yeah he's battered that lure, but the Savage Gear V2, if you haven't got one of them in your box, highly recommended, there we are, pop that back on, that's what that did the damage, you can pick these up in a, uh, Packs of eight, I think it is, or six for mixed fishing supplies. Really well priced. You can buy the jig heads as well. They got a new batch of uh, gear in. So yeah, go and uh, check that out. And yeah, let's get this little poppy back. Oh, come on. Oh. So we are one last little show. Lovely little bass. Let's get him back. Let's see if there's a little bit bigger fish in here. Like well, I say, any fish is a uh, good fun to catch. Beautiful. So we are one little bass. Lovely job. We go back nice and strong. Popping down here. Oh, oh okay. What we're doing, like I say, casting towards structure here, over those boulders, and the back of there. Incoming tight. That's what you're looking for, fast fishing. And a nice little bit of, um, yeah, white to the water, a little bit of movement, and you will catch back. So we're doing some nice little switch on the rod, bang bang, and just waiting for that bass to put the back of the lure. Not a bad way to start a Saturday morning. I say we've only got small ties today as well. And it's 7.4 high, but the tide doesn't move much. So I'll show you, you can get bass in the smaller tides as well. A common scope will mark at low tide as well and see what kind of ground you're fishing in, guys. They give you some idea of what you're passing over, where the bass can be sitting waiting, stuff like that. At least you know what depth the water's going to be and stuff like that. Yeah, Mr. Basil. Fish on the surface, that's the problem. The problem is Moller, you see it jump.
So it's been having some big waves here. As far as I show you this, guys, all that white water is oxygenated water that's been, yeah, generated. That's what the bass will absolutely love. You see that? The water's running down, it's making loads of bubbles. The bass thrive on that. When the water's are oxygenated, yeah, the bass will come in really close. Hug dollies like this and you will find them. So don't be scared to try, yeah, really shallow grounds. You can have a mooching up there. Bait fish will get stocked there. So, uh, yeah. I like think where you're casting, I say you will find fish there like that. Look at the uh, bubbles there getting generated. <laughs> and you got a lovely white. And uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. But what a beautiful start. Looks rainy out there though. Well, we're back where we started now, guys. So we gave the surface lure a go for a couple of seconds, guys. But uh, yeah, too much surface weed. So we try stuck on a uh, Savage Gear Pearl White lure now. Just see, changing up the collar can make all the difference. So yeah, let's pop this out and see if we get any action. Just changing the collar top on to make all the difference. <coughs> Back mod just switch on again. There we are, bass number three. Probably coming on for a pound, that fish. I say fair to that uh, Savage Gear, got a uh, green head, but with a white body. Don't make any difference. <clears throat> but like I say, just changing it up can make all the difference. Just change color. And uh, yeah, don't be afraid to change color either. If you stick to the same lure, you have having no um, action. Yeah, just switch it up and you will find fish. All right, let's get a show of this one on the camera, get a few snaps and get it back. So there we are, another lovely little bass. I'd say no size to my anything, but absolutely lovely to see. Big dorsal fins there, old Spike City. On the gill uh, plates there, they're razor sharp, so be careful when you're handling them. The dorsal fin's spiky, the uh, anal fin's spiky as well. But that's where they get their power from, that nice big tail for a small fish. But yeah, let's get this one back. All right, I brought this bass down to this little uh, corner here. We're we'll trying to get a little release. Oh, yeah, look at that. Put a little bit of water running through these gills. 
when that tide comes off. Oh, yeah. And off he goes. Check that out, off he goes. Just sitting there, that. Getting his breath back. And yeah, I'm loving it this morning. Not even seven o'clock in the morning, yeah? And yeah, we're going fast already. If you're enjoying the video, guys, smash that like button, subscribe. And yeah, keep catching bass. Let's get a lure back out there and see if there's any more in the area. <clears throat> so what a lovely, uh, yeah, star. Three bass down. I say no real size to them. Bass, brilliant fun early in the morning. Getting off, quite a hike down to this mark. But yeah, check out that for the views. Absolutely beautiful. So bring your rod if you ever come to Guernsey. Yeah, even give me a, you can even give me a uh, shout. Check me out on Instagram. I put all up uh, when my video is going to go up and stuff like that. TikTok. Yeah, right. Let's go back out there. Let's see if we can get a little bit bigger one before we uh, make a trip back. Great fun. Right, so I have another cast here. I think it's gone a little bit quiet. So we might start making our way back to the um, beach and maybe have a chock here and there on the way back. Just got to be a little bit careful because, uh, yeah, at the other side you can get cut off with the tide. I uh, don't fancy that. Rather be safe than sorry. So a little bit of a walk. But yeah, nice little session um, this morning. And you got the lovely, uh, yeah, background as well. So I'd say cheers to everyone that's been watching the uh, videos, really. The views have been absolutely brilliant on the channel. Keep sharing the channel with your uh, friends and family. Oh well, yeah, I reckon the bass have moved out of this area, I think. So, we're gonna make our way slowly back. I said the tide's coming in now. It's gone a little bit quiet uh, where we've uh, been fishing. But yeah, really uh, happy with those three bass. I said I might have a truck on the uh, way back through. Be uh, rude not to. But uh, yeah, what a beautiful, beautiful morning. So it's uh, definitely uh, worth getting up for when the weather's like this. Still pretty warm, but you can, uh, yeah, Really feel the autumn weather starting to kick in a little bit. Yeah, evenings and mornings are starting to get a little bit more chilly. But uh, yeah, bring on those winter bass. So yeah, if anything happens guys, I'll see you over there. And hopefully, we can find one more. Well, that's going to do it for another little session this morning, guys. You see that sun coming off over the back of the island there. Absolutely beautiful. Whew, that's a bit of a walk. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, video this morning. Hopefully it's given you a uh, yeah a little insight into uh, yeah how to get into bass fishing and the times to uh, fish and the lures. That Savage Gear V2. So if you haven't got one of those in your box, whites, greens. I don't think they do the lemon backs anymore. If anyone knows, leave it in the comments. And uh, yeah. 
leave some comments of what fish you've been catching. It'd be nice to see some pictures or send them on Instagram to me. I'd love to see what you've been catching, uh, bass wise and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I said it was worth getting up this morning. Three bass landed, one lost, no size to them. But uh, yeah, lovely to catch fish nonetheless. No size, doesn't really matter. Really, so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, if you could hit the like button as you always do guys, it'd be really, really appreciated. That's one thing that really uh, helps my channel get out there. Uh, yeah, share it as well with friends, family. Share it on social media. And yeah, we'll get the channel out there. Got the Mr. Fish uh, jumper. Seems like it's good luck, this jumper. So yeah, cheers for that, Mick. It seems like we uh, wear it and we always catch. But yeah, and subscribe as well. Uh, yeah, don't want to forget that one. But I'm going off home for some breakfast. Keep catching, keep casting. And yeah, we'll see you on the sea again soon. Cheers for watching, guys. Till next time.